Hey gang, it's finally here! The Outer Worlds! Welcome to the Outer Worlds, we are beginning! Oh, look at this, I'm so excited. I When this first got announced way back when, oh gosh, it, maybe not way back when, about a year ago. Oh man, I was like, oh look at that. Looks, got some major space western vibes, right? One of my favorite things, right? Really. Westerns, man, Obsidian's really killing it for me with the, uh, <laughs> they're getting me on the Western front, the Western front, and the piratey front, huh? Anyway, before we get too ahead of ourselves, thank you, this is the first time it's ever happened for this channel, thank you to Obsidian and their publisher, Private Division, for providing a copy of this game. Now, that's all that, full disclosure stuff, that's all they've done in this case, they haven't paid me for opinion or anything like that, or sponsored or anything. They just gave me a key, and honestly, even in the fine print, they said, Be truthful, which, you know what? Hey, like that. Anyway, here in settings, we'll go quickly over it. I did spend some time to adjust settings a little bit. Let's see, motion blur, notably turn that all the way down, not a fan. Frame rate limit, if you see that at 60, you can actually turn that to unlimited, but I'm bottlenecked. So, we've got that set down to 60. Audio here, you know what, we're actually, I did walk around a bit in the tutorial area. I will not lie. Let's see. Let's do some of that. That seems great. Alright. Good. There we go. Controls. I rebound quite a few things, I think. Hopefully it kept. Yes, it did. Oh. No, it didn't. <laughs> we'll fix that back when we get inside. Alright. In between videos, I'll fix it. Let's see. And then... Here we've got, yeah, controls. All the other things saved, weirdly enough. Field of view, look at that, beautiful. Mmm, field of view slider. And UI, got all this where you can see DPS or damage. All that good stuff. All right, cool, let's get in there. And of course, as we're doing the character creation, if you want to skip that, uh, I will have in the description a little thing where you can skip it, right? If you just want to get right past if you already know what's up. All right, now like I said, I did do running around so it has continue in the, for me to continue that save. All right. But other than that, I'm going in pretty blind. New game, and we are going on hard mode, not Supernova. I will probably do a second playthrough on Supernova difficulty. Man, listen to that music. Because here, Supernova difficulty, your companions can die permanently, and you cannot uh, save scum, which I'm keen to do. So I wouldn't mind companions dying permanently if I could quick save ahead of like combat and stuff. But because this is the first playthrough, I want to get companion uh, stories and deets, right? I don't know how hard or easy it will be, so we're just doing normal hard mode, right? We'll come back for Supernova. All right, we've got subtitles all on for your viewing pleasure. Continue! Hey, there we go. Now, this is, of course, a game about corporate greed. It satirizes it from Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarsky, creators of Fallout. Prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. Mm. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hmm, 1023, huh? You like that? In Fallout, that's when the bombs drop. Huh. Oh, and of course I've seen a lot of the trailer stuff, right? So th this should be pretty familiar, this dude. Oh, status fugitive wanted by Halcyon Holdings Board and for crimes something something something. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful.
All right, and here we have our character creation stuff. Now, ahead of time, because I'm a big old dingus butt, I went ahead and, before the game even came out, made a character build. So we'll quickly go over this. Let's see here. Now, also, interestingly, he will comment on if you have below average stats or very high stats. Check this out. Someone made a note that you're oblivious to flirtation. All right, but we will actually have that at two pips. And it's not as... It's, it doesn't have a fun thing like special or classic if you played Wasteland. But still, I, I kind of like it, right? You've got, like, these derived stats and then it affects your skills and all that shit. Pretty neat. All right. Now, temperament is something that seems pretty interesting to me, right? Let's see. It You've got ice in your veins, and not just because you're frozen. It, it, um, temperament seems to me to be, like, how cool under pressure your character is, right? Hence all of the buffs to lie, sneaking, medical, engineering, determination, stuff like that. Whereas charm is more like, you know, your people stuff, your people skills, right? But also it seems to do hacking, science, inspiration, interesting stuff. But yeah, temperament, I, I'm quite keen on that. All right. And then also we will do one in dex. There we go. That seems like a good one to me. All right. Skills. Okay. And by the way, Nukes and Dragons has a really nice character builder for this game if you want to do that ahead of time or something. Okay, so here I went with... Now you see all these stats you get like the unlocks at every 20 levels, but also for each point you get a little bit of a bonus, right? Well, for some of them at least. So like Sneak, you get Awareness Decay... Sneak attack damage. Well, I suppose for those you don't. All right, here, but for dodge, block. All right, wow, that's pretty nice. Armor rating when wielding a melee weapon. Huh. I guess that's how you would balance that, right? Huh, okay, interesting. All right, but anyway, what we want are as our primaries here, which means we pick a big whole tree of these, right? A umbrella unit of three or two. I want... Stealth? You had a hand in everyone's pocket. And we will go with... I was torn between tech and leadership, honestly. Let's see. Tech skills improve your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Each point in tech significantly increases medical, engineering, and science skills, up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize by, add by adding points directly to medical, engineering, or science. Right. So it gives you a lot of leeway as you're building your character, right? So once you get to 50, you start having to commit to specific skills. Kind of an interesting twist on it, I think. All right. Now, I'm quite keen on medical because of how the inhaler stuff works, right? So you have these drug mixing slots, which you'll be able to add effects to your healer, your healing unit. Pretty neat. But at the same time, I do like the idea of having companions doing shit with us. Right? Huh. Hmm, let's see. Look at I... that! A real scientist! Hmm. You would have made outpost administrator within a year. Subtle and discreet. Exactly what I need. Huh. Alright. You know what? I think we'll go with leadership, right? I'm pretty down with that. Okay, although it feels like we're kind of losing out, I have no intent to sort of spec too much into science, right? Just a bit. All right, we probably won't bring it past 50, I'd say. Next, depends on how the skills go. Now here, you pick your aptitude, of which he will say a little something about each one of them. Ah, a real salt-of-the-earth type. Yeah, farmer. All right, now me, I would like to be a team mascot. <laughs> there isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. Wait, what? Competitive mascot food chain? So we're not even... What? Is Tossball... So it's not for a sport, it's for a food chain? It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. 
Now's there your go. chance to have vengeance. Great. Okay, there's a lot of good ones here. Like, some of... I'm not too keen on, like, the, the ones that are very... I don't know, higher ranking. I like the ones that are, like, entry level or some, like, micro BS, right? <laughs> All right. Let's go with that. But yeah, like, bureaucrat, eh. Sci scientist assistant, eh. All right. Let's go next. Now here, we will do a cut as we customize our appearance. Uh, because I figure, hey, who wants to watch me finagle with this? Some people, they're into the stats. I am. But this, we'll do a quick cut. There we are. That looks pretty good, huh? I'm a little bit more impressed with the uh, uh, appearance customization than I was expecting. Here, take a look at some of it. Yeah. Got sliders and everything. Goodness. Wasn't expecting that much, frankly. All right. Next. And here... Yeah, they don't tell you whether or not it's supposed to be your first name or first name and surname. So, I can fit both. We're going with it. There we are. Which is absolutely, definitely my real name. <laughs> All right. There we go. Next. Cool. All right. So, we're good at dex. Uh, we're high at perception. Very high temperament. There we go. I quite like that, right? At first, I was very uh, curious about the temperament skill, right? Because normally I, I'm the kind of dude who dumps a whole bunch of points into luck. But, I don't know, temperament seems really interesting. Almost reminds me of Pillars, uh, Pillars of Eternity's Resolve, but not quite, I guess. Like I said, it, it really comes off as like cool under pressure, something like that. Like not liable to get angry, which is what he'll bring up. Uh, if you put it very low, it's like, oh god, are you gonna get angry at me? That might be cool, huh? Have a character who just gets really mad at people all the time? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Next. Oh. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Yeah, a lot of this was in the trailer stuff. Please power down your engines and prepare to be... Not likely bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Music is quite good, isn't it? Goodness. Ooh. Terra 2. Orbiting laboratory. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. <sighs> Skip drive. Shit. Yeah, it wouldn't be a sci-fi spacefaring game if it didn't start off with your hyperdrive faster than light drive being busted as hell. <laughs> Don't they always start that way? Oh man, your first... Step has got to be either get a ship or fix your hyperdrive or something. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Oh, Normally, so it did just arrive. Reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? And we're incredibly oh, high! I used the last of my <laughs> chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship Flattering is picture. inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Oh, he must be a man made of light. <laughs> that's if that's him on the communicator. <laughs> he's just a, he's a bright incandescent man. Oh, <laughs> how couldn't you trust him? He's positively glowing. 
<laughs> Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Oh, remember the hope. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I didn't read all this stuff when I was going through to the tutorial and testing stuff. Is this thing working? Oh. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also hmm. outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Man, do you think he timed it to where it would just be as soon as we hit the turbulence? <laughs> Man, do you think I got peanuts? Ooh. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. He was playing on Supernova. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Man, it looks rad as hell. Huh. Alright. Like I said, we may, um... Actually, did I say it? I don't know. Either way, <laughs> whether or not, I may uh, end up doing a little bit of finagling with audio levels and the mouse sensitivity, right? Every game's a little bit different. Kind of a pain, but eh, what can you do? That's why it's really nice when it gives you, like, the exact DPI and stuff. And you can make it the same no matter what game you're in. A lot of competitive games do that. I guess it's kind of a requirement in that case. Alright. Let's head on down here. Got our sprint. Jump over obstacles. Look at this. Just a garbage planet. Or maybe that's from us. Oh! A sprat! Oh. Oh. I didn't see their names last time I came through here. I was running around testing uh, video and stuff. Good thing, too. Had some issues with that. <laughs> Hence the uh, frame rate limiter. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Left control used to go underneath obstacles and to sneak. Can I do a slide? A lot of games are big on making you slide now. Sprinting? No. All right, fair enough. All right. Here we go. Good. Honestly, it's, it's a fun trend. I like sliding. Although I don't think I've ever done it in real life. <laughs> I think I, I tried to slide down a hill once in real life, but I ended up just rolling and almost dying. It was pretty alright. <laughs> alright. Look at these guys. Can I attack them? Huh. No. Alright. Here we go. Let's continue. Sprint on up here. Good. Crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Good. Got some food stuff here. A Drano. There we go. Marauder Thug, no legs. Alright. His legs just turned into goo. Alright. Anything else here? I don't know, okay. I thought I could loot the frying pan. Alright, fair enough. Let's see. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to yada yada yada. Now, last time when I was doing this tutorial bit, I. Oh, the awareness meters over the he uh, enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Quite a bit there, huh? Alright, here. We're gonna make use of our quick save. Let's see. <laughs> Last time I just snuck by, but... What if there's some, like, woot loot up there? Oh, surprise! It's me! Oh! Oh, I can't even go up. <laughs> You're not even allowed to go up. There's an invisible wall. Alright. Huh. Okay, I thought maybe we would be able to loot that body. Guess not. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, hang on. Maybe I can jump. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on down here. Or do I even need to crouch? Yeah, I do. Alright. 
Good. Oh, look at this. Ugh, some little creature, or sprat, even. Oh, God. Oh, right, yeah. I'm going to have a... <laughs> Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah, first time through. That, yeah, that was pretty loud there, but uh, first time through, oh my god, I had to, like, rip my headphones off before I went deaf. <laughs> Aren't you glad I went ahead and did this little tutorial bit? Alright. Oh, fuck. Forgot about that. Alright. Use the emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one unit of whatever the hell. Oh, look. Did my key bindings actually keep? It said five there. Which is what I set that to. Let's see here. Quick melee? No. Huh. Yeah, no, weird. Okay. Strange. So if I press 5, will it... Oh, it does do it. Huh. So maybe it did take. It's just the UI bugged out. Okay, weird. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's his friend. Hey, you. Come here. I wonder if you can just ignore this guy. I don't know. What's up? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Law, all right. Medical check. Sit still. I'll patch you up. What happened to you? Spacer's what? Let's see. Hmm. Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. He didn't put any points into temperament. All right. Medical, sit still. I'll patch you up. What's this about marauders? What were you doing out here? You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Let's see. And this gives you your chat history there. Notice as well he is a guard, right? Huh. Alright, here, we may as well do the medical check. We're... it's only five, right? Incredibly low. Which, fair enough, we're at the very beginning of the game. But hey, we had some skills that went up to like 30 or something, right? Yeah. Alright, sit still, I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What's this about Marauders? What were you doing out here? You are hiding in a cave and you block. Okay, yeah. What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. God, unemployed? What the hell? their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Oh, look. Persuade one. I got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Lie. Someone grounded their ship illegally? I'll hunt him down for you. Intimidate one. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Alright, so just like a little introduction to uh, conversation checks here. Let's see. Well, obviously, we have to lie to him. Someone grounded their ship illegally? <laughs> Guard Pelham, I'll hunt him down for you. Don't worry about it. Wink. You'd better take my gun, then. Careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> God, the expression is pretty good, huh? The, like, facial expression? It was not half bad, right? Huh. Okay. Can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the Hope? I'm off. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. <laughs> I like whenever he's talking about, like, a Spacer's Choice uh, community. Famous. He, he says it with that little inflection. Pretty good voice acting so far, huh? All right. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but 
I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Hmm. All right, well, I'm off. Okay. Cool. Now, also, this being, uh, you know, this sort of game, you could also just kind of look over here and pop him right in the ah! noggin and, you know, just be off with it. But <laughs> and get his armor. But we won't, we won't stay with that. <laughs> We're not going to be a complete fucking lunatic. Just a little bit. All right. Let's see. What have we got here? Some mag locks. There we go. A lot of good stuff up in here. There we are. Saltuna. Dehydrated water tablets. Delicious. All right. Good. Make our way around a bit. There we are. More goodies. Yeah, on Supernova difficulty, you actually have to eat and sleep and stuff. Which, honestly, I don't mind. Like I said, the big thing for me is the losing companions. I really want the story stuff, right? Okay. Huh. Can I actually shoot that? Let's see. Doink! No. Alright, fair enough. How about over here? That. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. <laughs> Can we actually talk to this guy again now that we've done that? <sighs> Thanks for patching me up. Huh, no, nothing. Okay. Didn't try it last time. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Get on down. There we are. Look at these little guys. I wonder if you can eat them. We won't shoot them, though. Alright. I feel kind of bad about that. Oh, God. Ooh. Ah. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Right. No vats this time around, but you do get a little something something. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think, as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Cool. Alright. Oh my god. Ooh, what's going on over here? Ooh, I think we just came upon a party. <laughs> oh, I think they're making little marauders. All right. Here we go. Doink. Ah, you pay. Oh. oh, look. We get a little bit of detail right there as well. Oh. <laughs> All right. What have you got? Oh, hey. I didn't get this stuff last time. All right. Let's see. Oh, also, they have this dope thing. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad they took this from... Uh, what was it? I guess Fallout 4 was the first one that did that in this line of sort of genre of game, right? At least as far as I know. Look at that. Very nice. All right, rebuilt mining gear. Let's see, Hephaestus. Marauder armor, this mining gear has seen some hard times in a sulfur pit somewhere. You can just smell it. Oh man, maybe they poop their pants though. Okay, well, we're just gonna take all. Dope. You have a new item! View it in the inventory. All right. T and L, weapons safety training, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your T and L weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> All right, there we are. Now, let's see. What is this? Ar oh. Aramid Ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor management. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. All right. So what have we got here? Hibernation suit. The suit is designed to be used in hibernation pods. Standard gear for every colonist making the long journey to Halcyon. All right. Oh, look, it actually gives you more details when you inspect it. Oh, because this wasn't... Oh, huh. And look, you can get, um... Help Laura Croft get some clues for her adventure. <laughs> Hibernation suits like this one have not been seen in Halcyon since the first colonists arrived on the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker? Huh. All right. 
and different damage types. I know there's like ballistic plasma, corrosive shock, and n-ray, I think. I think. Don't quote me on it. All right. It actually gives us plus five to all tech skills. Not half bad. Armor type light. All right. And what is this? Oh, look. It's got something here. Huh. Break down. Okay. Notice the carry weight stuff as well. Ooh. So what does this do? Stealth skills. I see. Huh. All right. Light armor set scavenged and combined from other armor sets. But lightweight and mobile. Huh. Armoring gadget skills kit utility. I don't know what that is. All right. It also has a little unit next to it. Hmm. How's it look? Well, I guess that's helmet, I'd assume. Oh, God. <clears throat> Not a fan of that. <laughs> I will gladly take my spinning tubes. <laughs> All right. Corpses and containers hold items that you can take. You can take one or, or take them all. Your mouse wheel scrolls between items. Very nice, right? All right. What have you got? Oh, are you the same person? Or is there... Oh, there might be AoE looting. Huh. I wonder. All right. Gosh. Looking at these shrooms, they make me want to, like, loot them up for alchemy or whatever. All right. Bunch of nanners! <laughs> Bunch of nanners! A mock apple! Oh, look at these bunch of nanners. God, their ends are like razors. All right, take some more mag picks. There we go. And here, look at this. Check out this dope ass mag picking, lock picking mini game. Nailed it! Whew! Man, I almost thought we were about to have to do a funny montage for that. <laughs> All right, we'll just take that. The iconic spacer's choice telescoping staff can be modified in many ways for additional cost. Now available on Mark II! Yoink. All right. You have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between the weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. All right. Neat. And we have our radial menu here as well. Probably won't need that too much. I'll probably very quickly get used to... <laughs> Use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. All melee weapons can block. All right, you can't like... Sekiro cancel. <laughs> but you can quickly attack out of a, out of a unit here. Huh. Alright, so block. Huh. Alright, interesting. We'll get back to our pistol arrow. Alright. Zero G brew. Tarmac and cheese. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what's this? Fish sticks. Pre-sliced bread. Fast ration pill. Huh. All right. Cool. Now. Oh, shit. Oh, what have I done? Oh, okay. I went up to this thing. This bin, which has a... I don't know if you can make it out there, gentle viewer. Transfer is R. All right, so we could, like, stick one of these units in there. Eh. But I'll take that. All right. Cool. Well, when next we come back, we will head on down there to Hawthorne's ship, right? Ready on our way. And this, as I said, I did a little bit ahead of time. This is as far as I got. Right? From here, <laughs> we're flying free and blind as hell. I'm excited as shit to play more of the uh, the Outer Worlds. Oh, and by the way, almost, oh my god, I almost forgot. If this looks dope as hell to you, uh, there is currently the Outer Worlds on the Xbox Games Pass, which also is applicable to PC stuff. And I think if you've never done it before, there's an introductory price of $4.99. It's only for a month, but this game is relatively short. I think so. It's about... I think I heard reviewers say it's about 30-something hours, something like that. 20 to 30. It's intended to do a lot of playthroughs, right? But... Um, if that sounds like your bag... Holy crap, and you got the free time. Holy crap, what a what are savings? Also, it sounds like I, they totally paid me for that. But, <laughs> like I said earlier, I have not been paid or sponsored for anything like that. That was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was all just from from me. <laughs> anyway, when next we come back, head on down there, Hawthorne ship. Till next time, peace. <laughs>